Hello and welcome back. My name is Rebelica and today I'm going to be doing a speed build of uh, the renovations to my tiny home to make more room for the infants when they arrive. So I've been told that infants need more indoor space. They don't like being outdoors so much, especially if it's cold or hot. So having this house uh, operate with just the bedrooms indoors uh, doesn't seem to be working very well. So um, I also wasn't having much luck with the relationship bonus uh, because it works up or down. So your relationships go down faster as well as up faster. So I decided to, the, to make this a tier two tiny home, which means that I'm still going to be able to use the skill boost. So skills will be twice as fast as well as the uh, more comfortable and um, bills are lower and uh, I forget what the last one is, but anyways, and I also lose my gardening bonus, but that's okay because everything is going to be under the greenhouse roof. And so it doesn't really matter if it's growing quickly because everything will be always in season. So first thing I did was I walled in my area that I had work for cooking and uh, a lot of the toddler toys were in there as well. And that actually gave me uh, 62 out of 64 squares for the second tier. And then I decided what I was going to do was raise up the roof so that there could be a workspace above the house that's still under cover, but it wouldn't count towards the space used because unless you have walls around it, it doesn't see it as a room. Fortunately, I can't use uh, platforms or anything like that for landscaping, which I would love to do because that counts towards the squares as well. So instead I have this work area up underneath the roof. So I do have to create a small room in order to move the roof up though to the next level and then I'm just deleting the room. So I still plan on planned on putting in little porch roofs around the house so that there were other areas that were undercover to protect them from rain and lightning, um, things like that. Uh, don't know if it protects it from meteors. However, I don't have a telescope, so that doesn't really matter as much. What this does do though, is it gives the roof on the second floor there. It is going to be smaller. Oh, I have finally switched this to daylight so I could see what I was doing. Um, it was a little dark. <laughs> And I also remembered to put in the fourth pillar for the greenhouse. Um, I didn't have enough money when I originally put it up and I thought, well, I'll put it in later and I completely forgot to add it. So I'm just adding the roof here for the porch area. And what I wanted to do with this was to have it a wrap around so that it would be on along the two sides and have a full like extra square, but unless I made the room above into an actual room, it would clip into the um, work area above. Uh, I tried several different ways to do this, but it kept clipping. So you can see here, I was trying to do a hipped roof and I tried to do a half hipped roof. I just couldn't get it. Um, I have been thinking maybe of making a tower roof, like a, um, a circular one. Um, but I'm pretty sure it would still clip, but that's something to try another time. And you can see here, I'm still trying different ways, but it always kept clipping into the work area. So in the end, I decided to just do a roof over the two sections and get rid of the corner because it just wasn't working no matter what I tried to do. It was close though. This is kind of what I wanted it to look like, but to have that uh, the hip area to go right up to the corner of the house. It's where sometimes there are limitations with what you can do with the roofs in, in, in this game. And then I put half walls up in the top area here. And I was trying to figure out what to do for the walls up there. I wanted to have it a more eco house. Uh, most of these walls, though, they were giving me um, industrial footprints. Um, I did try the shiny walls from uh, the spa day pack, but I didn't like how they looked in the end. I do like the idea of them, just not for this house. So a lot of the house or a lot of the uh, 
the brick ones do give an industrial um, element to it though. So I started looking at the wood paneling and but I didn't really like a lot of the wood paneling. I did find one eventually that I liked. Um, now our matriarch Quinn, her favorite color is brown, which is why I went for a brown wood instead of gray or some other color. I was trying to make a house that she would like. And so then I put the walls the rest of the way around, leaving an area for a landing for the steps. And did that all the same here with the same wall covering. Um, made my roof line up properly, moved all my windmills up. And I've had to adjust the windmills a few times because they were actually sinking through the roof and you could see them underneath. And that really bothered me. But in the end, I think there's not a whole lot I can do. It just does that. So moving all my work benches up onto this area. Um, I'll put some stairs up here as well, just plain wooden stairs. So I had two, two spaces left over after building my room, and I was going to use them up here for the landing next to the stairs, and I also wanted to put a railing around the stairs. Um, but it, it ended up having this funny little, I don't know if a glitch is the right word, but... Um, for some reason, it put a post at the top of the steps that I just could not get rid of. So you'll see here, once I put the railings up, and I use the railings from Snowy Escape. I really do like these railings. They're very simple. So you put a little post right in the middle of the landing. And so and I built the fence around it. The post was still there. I couldn't get rid of it without getting rid of the railings. Now, that isn't a... a that is an improvement over before where it would have had the railing on that side of the wall anyways. Uh, that has been changed, so if steps are against a wall, the railing doesn't show up quite as much. And I also made all my roofs here green roofs. So it helps with the water um, for off, off the grid lots, which this is. Not sure how it generates water, but it does. I'm not going to complain. <laughs> so I tried to put some fairy lights up. I wanted to have them at the top of the walls, but it was going to be quite a pain to put them up there. And then I realized that the pillars didn't actually touch the ceiling. So I ended up just putting in the candle chandelier that I used on the bottom, the, like in the main floor, the main room, and use that for light. It works off the grid. Okay, so I raised up all the pan all the uh, pillars here. It's not really that big of a detail, but it was annoying me, and especially down here on the other roofs too. It was doing the same thing. It's like the roof was floating above the pillars. So the green house ones that wasn't having the same problem, but I did put a roof trim on. Um, I think the big thick one looks the best with with those pillars. And this actually was done before the greenhouse haven kit came out, uh, which I did get. And so when the when that kit came out, I, the first thing I did was I changed the roof to be the white greenhouse roof. So that's why it's just glass at this point. Uh, later on, it has changed though. And I was trying to find some trim or something to put around this little piece of platform here, but I was having some trouble. I couldn't get the platform trims to work. I think I wasn't looking in the right spot. Um, when I do, when when I I do figure that out, it will be changed though. I don't like the way the the platforms look just white like that. And then in the main room here, it's going to be half kitchen and half infant playroom bedroom. So I moved my door over to the other wall and put a new door in here. And it's just one of the simple wooden doors that I have inside. And I wanted the kitchen walls to be pink, uh, preferably pink tile. And I wanted it to match the pink counters and the pink um, microwave that we have there. It's kind of interesting how we got a pink, we got both pink um, counters and a pink uh, microwave from the dumpster, but that's okay. <laughs> Um, so I tried some of the different pastel pop ones, but the color combination, or the colors I liked, didn't match. There's not the same purple. Uh, it would have been okay with the purple strawberries going up against the pink wall like that, but the purples on the bottom are different. 
and I didn't realize there was two different shades of purple for the bottom. So I tried the pink, didn't like that. So instead I went with this one from the um, Decor to the Max kit, which I really enjoyed that kit as well. But I love the pink and the, the, the mint green together. And it goes so well with the countertops. So then I was just trying to, find, trying to find a wall to go on the other side that would be more suitable for the infant's bedroom. And it was a little dark in this room, so I put some candles. And they're the same candles I have in the other one. And then I also um, found this one here. I like this honeycomb. I'm not sure if it's tile or a wallpaper, but I like the colors. And it actually goes quite well with the other wall. And then I wanted to put a plush carpet for the infants to make it comfy for them. Not that it really makes any difference. Just in my head, it's comfier. And then I put some windows in for some more light. Quite a few windows, actually. There we go. And then I needed some tile for the kitchen. And I found this one here is actually the same color as the plush carpet. I thought about trying blue at first, but I, I like the green better. And then I wanted to put a little fence in. So at first I used the um, illusion of a fence one there. It looks really nice, but I don't think it'll keep the infants out of the kitchen, which is what I really would like to do. Um, so I went with the, this fence here that came with the infants update, um, I think, or did that come with uh, growing together? I got them both at the same time because my computer was broken when they both came out. But uh, but yeah, so I think it looks really nice. It's all color coordinated in there and it doesn't match the rest of the house really that well, but the rest of the house is done in Quinn's favorite colors. So I just moved a few things. I have these two huge planters and I moved the table back behind the wall here. So it's close to where the kitchen is. Um, and later on, I'm actually going to put an arch so I can actually see the table through there because the walls all, don't always drop down, but also because then they can just reach through and grab food like they were doing from before. They were doing that before when it was a fence there. I just thought that was kind of neat. And then I put another roofed in area at the front of the house for like a little porch so that the stereo that I moved outside could still be under cover. And I'm just going to move Bun Bun out of the rain. I thought I'd put it over beside the stereo, but then I decided to like to put it over here. And the knitting box I put over beside the couch. And then I have the potty there. I just moved over closer to the door. And I had a, took the toddler bed that I had in my inventory and put it in there for infants. I thought that I'd be able to upgrade it to the infant one, but it doesn't seem to be working. So later on, it ended up being replaced with a crib. And I have lots of little cushions there for toddlers to sit on while they're eating. And I went back to these steps over here. I tried making the wall longer, but I didn't like that. So I decided to actually just move the steps over one square and put the two square landing at the top of that. Um, and then I moved the children's art desk um, up on top. I tried putting it under the steps, but I didn't really like where it was right there. I even moved the, the roof over so that it would, um, so yeah, here we go move the roof over so that it could overhang the steps, which is not a bad idea. So people won't get hit by lightning going up the steps for the most part. It doesn't quite cover them all. Um, I tried to get this pillar to go at the bottom of the steps and go up, but it won't go to two wall heights. I tried and it needs to sit on a floor tile and I just could not get, get it to work properly. I tried building a wall, but it wouldn't attach to the wall. It, it actually does need a floor tile, it looks like. So I ended up putting the, the pillar at the edge of the, the roof, as close to the, the end that overhangs as I could get it. And then I decided I was going to try making the wall lower but with a different um, top on it with the glassed in wall but I didn't end up really liking how it looked. Um, but I like the wall height that I'd picked that time. It's a little bit lower. It's just at the same height as the, the top of the roofs. So when I switched it back to the other one, it's a lower wall height, but it's okay. I think it looks better. 
because it does line up pretty much exactly with the one roof there. And I just moved some other things around, like the monkey bars are sitting closer to the jungle gym. The swing set I'd moved over to the front at first, but then I decided I didn't actually like it there. So the chickens I moved a little bit over and closer to the greenhouse, so and I put a little fence around them. So now they have their own enclosed area and will no longer be walking into the house. <laughs> And I'm also starting to run out of money at this point. I've only got 784 simoleons at the moment, so I am getting low. Um, I moved my beehive to the edge of the greenhouse and moved some plants over just so they take up less room and expanded the roof a little further over and I decided to make it a little lower and a little rounder. I think it looks better that way and just put more pillars out. Um, I may expand this more in the future because I think it's a little wider on the one side than the other. Uh, I may just move the pillars over. I'll have to decide what I'm going to do. But I had to move my uh, windmills up because I moved the roof over. And just moved the cava plant finally over to the other side. And I think that's it. So um, there have been some more improvements since then, partly because I had more money available to me because I'm almost out of money at this point. But anyways, that's uh, my build and thank you for watching. So don't forget to click like and subscribe and the little bell for notification of more videos. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.